Hello there and welcome to the Publishing Hour show today with host evangelist Jimmy Jumbra, where we are here to inform you on how to write your book the right way the first time and so much more. Get ready for our wonderful show. But we're going to go into the scripture right quick. And the scripture is coming from Acts chapter 15, verse 4, King James Version. And it reads as follows. And when they were come to Jerusalem, they were received of the church and of the apostles and elders. And they declare all things that God had done with them. Now listen to the show today and see how this scripture relates to the show and your life. Stay tuned to the Publishing Hour with Evangelist. Hi there, this is Evangelist Jimmy and I am here with the Publishing Hour show. Welcome to the Publishing Hour show where we inform you on how to write your book the right way, the first time and so much more. And today our guest is Sherelle. And I'm not going to get her last name right, so I'm going to let her say it. It's Valdez Loki. Valdez Loki. I always mess that up. <laughs> we have had her on our internet radio station. Yes. Um, I Shout for Joy and the other uh, four stations that we were on in 2010, 2011. Right. Now we're here on Comcast Cable where our viewers are here in the Richmond market and all over the world, we uh, I loaded up to YouTube and I sent it all over. I was uh, interviewing yesterday, and uh, I had a, a gentleman from India, yeah, and nice. I was uh, chatting with him on Facebook. And <laughs> he's been watching the Publishing Hour show in India. That's a blessing. So um, we're here, and we're going to talk about the uh, purpose, 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 promoting purpose magazine her online magazine, and tell us a little bit about yourself, our viewing audience, a little bit about yourself and your magazine, and uh, then we're going to go from there. Well, praise God. It's definitely a blessing to be here on today to actually share with you what God has given me, vision and dreams to be a blessing to others. And so the name of the magazine is called Promoting Purpose Magazine, and we promote purpose. Our slogan is promoting what God has placed in us, and that's purpose. And we all know that we have we're here for a reason. And what our magazine does is publish it. It promotes men and women of God on all levels. If, if you're just starting off, if you've been known for a long time, then we want to feature you in the magazine to let others know about what it is you're doing, what God has you to do. Wow, that is so awesome. And she had me featured last year. What yes. month was that? June? It was in June. In June, yes. I was featured in the magazine. And it was such an awesome experience to... Uh, be in in the promoting purpose magazine online issue and how many uh great men and women of god that you have in that magazine tell, tell our viewers how we met <laughs> <laughs> we actually met at the north carolina gospel announcement guild award in 2011 um the magazine had just been out for maybe nine months so it was a blessing to be nominated and wow. it was a blessing to meet you and other people so i'm um, definitely blessed for being able to meet you and I, I, I just wanted you to say that because uh, some people, they may be invited to so many different events and they just don't want to go because maybe, you know, I don't want to put my money into this or whatever. But God has a purpose for that invite and that networking purpose. And uh, you were from North Carolina, but you had moved to the Richmond market. Yes. And I didn't know that at the time. <laughs> and then when we started talking and we said, we're going to get together because we both trans, what they call it, transplants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're at the same table. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I mean, for us coming to Richmond. Right. You know, we're not originally from Richmond, right. but yet uh, God brought us all here for his purpose mm -hmm. and for his glory. Yes. So, um Tell us a little bit more about the magazine and uh, how would you like the viewing audience uh, to get in touch with you and just to um, help you and uh, how can you help them with their purpose? Okay. Well, and, um, to get to the magazine, we feature, of course, men and women of God. If you're a gospel artist, if you're an inspirational author, if you're just doing, you know, 
kingdom business. God is very creative. So there are so many ministries out there that other people may not be aware of. And there are so many things that people are going through right now and they feel like they have to go through it by themselves. But God has ministries out there for that. If you have an addiction, if you've been abused, there are ministries out there. And we want to present that to you and promote it and let everybody know that there's no excuse. There's a tool out there for everyone. Amen. And so we want to be that will to ensure that you receive that spiritual tool so there will be no excuse um, or any lack of relationship with God if you're trying and you're looking for Him. So we're um, a printed publication um, and online, but we more lean towards the print now. So we're strictly print now. Wow, yes. yeah. Yes. But tell us a little bit about what you guys are doing now. <laughs> <laughs> but right now, um, God has been moving me more into the ministry. Okay. It's like, at first, the magazine was the priority, and he's like, now I've matured you. Um, the magazine is getting you out there, so now we're going to put your ministry out there in the open so that you can, you know, minister and, and just be a vessel for him, as well as doing the magazine. Amen. I know we talked the other day, and I was telling you how God is like putting me into full time ministry mm -hmm. right now, and it's sometimes it's a it's, it's a scary thing, but yet it's a godly thing because I woke up yesterday morning as well as this morning, and I'm saying, I said, God has appointed me mm -hmm. to do something for Him. Right. This is the Creator of the heaven and earth. Mm -hmm. He owns everything, right. and He chose me. What am I afraid of? <laughs> you know, yes. think about that. Yes. And I know it's somebody out there that he has chosen you to do something, and you have to just release yourself, right. you know, just give it all to him. And we talk about giving it all to him, right. but do we really give it all to yeah, him? Exactly. That's something that we say as a generated message. We, we tell ourselves that I'm going to believe him, I'm going to trust them, but then in the back of your mind you're still worried. So it's just a generated phrase that we start using, but we need to actually get into it and believe it from the heart that, hey, the same way how you believe that this chair is going to hold you up when you're sitting in it, you need to believe that God is going to do what he said he's going to do. Amen, amen. And you talked about a dream that God has gave you. Can you tell the <laughs> audience about that dream? Because it's somebody out there that's going through exactly what we are going through to start that ministry that God has placed inside of us because it's for his glory and so many people are waiting on us. Right. So, because you really, really blessed me with that dream. So whatever that you can, can tell to our uh, viewing audience so you can help that special person out there that's going through something. It's something that you said that just blessed me so much. Yeah, praise God. Well, we know that faith, God is really looking for men and women that he can raise for the nation. And he's serious because his time is coming. And so, you know, we, like I said, faith is, he's just dealing with me with faith, faith, faith and trusting in him. And God deals with us in different ways. Mm -hmm. He making somebody making just tell you have faith, and you make it happen. You might have it just like that. But for me, I'm a hands-on person. I have to visually see it. And so recently, God said, you know, you, you keep telling me you trust me, you trust me, and you do. But then sometimes you're just like, eh, I don't know. And so He gave me a dream, and with that dream was dealing with water. And I can't swim. I really can't swim. <laughs> I'll go in the shallow part to get my feet wet, but I'm not gonna go in there. And in the dream, the God just said. You, you and your family, I have to go. You have to just go. It was an island, and he said, go out there, and you have to go on the other end of this island. He said, it's going to be a while. You're going to probably get tired. It's going to be a long swim, but you have to go. And it wasn't no sense of urgency. It was just him telling me, you got to go. That's it. And so I kept saying, wow, well, I'm going to die because I can't swim. <laughs> <laughs> and my husband said, you know, my husband can swim, but we have two kids. So I'm like, you know, my husband had have to tote all of them. And I said, he's going to get tired because that's a long swim. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy just kept saying, just go. Don't even think about how deep the water is. Just go. And I remember just walking in the water real slow. And I kept saying, oh, my God, you know, what's next? And out of the blue, a net just came around me and my family. A net in the front and in the back. And as we didn't even walk, it was like the net was just, the net from behind was just pushing us forward. And the net in the front was holding us so we won't fall. And the net behind us was just pushing us like God was giving us that push, saying, I got you. I'm securing you. Don't worry mm -hmm. about it. Just step out. Just do what you have to If I told you to do it, just do it. You may not understand why you have to do it, but if you just do it and trust me, I'm protecting you. I have faith over you and you're covered. And that's what faith is all about, just doing it. And that's what you have to do. I'm like getting chills <laughs> on me as you speak. And I mean that net just to feel it, just the net just pushing you on your back. It's like God is blowing that wind, giving you that boost. Oh. And he's holding you up saying, you're not going to fall. Just, just keep going. Just follow me. Don't worry about how deep the water is. 
for how far it is, you're not gonna get tired. He's gonna do. He's gonna carry you. <sighs> he's gonna carry you. You just have faith. I wanted you to say that because I remember when we talked. I told you how uh, an apostle friend of mine. I always talk about this apostle friend of mine, and um, he will be on the publishing hour show soon. Okay. But um, he was uh, really having me to release myself to the Lord. Right. And uh, he said, no matter what, God got you. You got to trust him mm -hmm. no matter what. Right. Uh, you got to trust him more than you ever trust him before. Mm -hmm. And that was before I went to service. Mm -hmm. So I went to service. And then the man of God, he, he gave the word. And parts of his word was uh, confirmation of what, what the apostle had said right. and uh that was god just letting me know that this man of god is telling you it's coming from the throne room of heaven mm -hmm. and the man afterwards i spoke to the the man of god at the service and he's told me to walk on water wow. and when you <laughs> told me your dream mm -hmm. i was like that is confirmation after confirmation <laughs> after confirmation right. so this show today is for somebody that needs to have faith, mm -hmm. trust in the Lord with every fiber of their being, mm -hmm. and to get ready to walk on water. Right. And that's <laughs> the miracle time when Jesus was walking on that water. I think they said in the Amplifier, it was between 3 and 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. And that's the miracle time. And these are miracles. And before all of this happened, when God told me to go to full-time ministry, mm -hmm. he said, uh, I was talking to somebody at a job that I was at, at an assignment that I was on, and I said, I want a miracle. <laughs> I just don't want a blessing. I want a miracle. Right. Two days later, they laid me off for the job. <laughs> so I'm getting God's miracle right, right. now. It yes. was like that door was closed. You asked for a miracle. You spoke it into the atmosphere. I'm getting ready to give you a miracle. And that's, that's faith right there because a lot of times when you ask God for a miracle, you say that. But then when he closed something, you get scared. Like, oh, what's next? Like, you know, you had faith. So you kept going. Somebody else may be like, oh, my God, what's next? What's next? But she had faith. You <laughs> see where she is right now? <laughs> so you have faith. <laughs> Trust God. Amen. Trust God. Amen. He has been such a blessing. Yes. Now, um... We're going to go to break right now, and then we're going to talk a little bit more about your print okay. uh, and how God is moving you in the ministry, yet within the print part of it. So we'll be right back at the Publishing Hour show, and we're going to talk more to uh, Sherelle Van Loki. Have you always wanted to write a book but just did not know how to get started? Well, Jonique Design Incorporated School of the Arts are having their first class for 2012 and you can take it from your very own home. Yes, we have online classes starting January the 30th, 2012 on how to write and publish your book. Sign up today at www.joniquedesign.com. That's J-O-N-I-Q-U-E-D-E-S-I-G-N.com. Click on how to write or call our custom service department at 804-719-1526. Sign up today for our beginning classes. We are back with the Publishing Hour show. I hope you enjoy that commercial. Uh, and we are here with uh, Purpose. Promoting Purpose. Promoting Purpose Magazine. I need some little prompt cards because this is <laughs> not working here. <laughs> Promoting Purpose Magazine with Sherelle. Valdez Loki. Valdez Loki. I'm not going to mess that up at all. <laughs> and we were just kind of talking on the break about the gifts that God has within us and how we are doing our ministry. And one thing that I'm learning uh, when God said go and, and do full-time ministry, mm -hmm. I feel like I'm a roving reporter right now. <laughs> And it's reporting the different gifts that are inside each and every one of it. Because um, I know this is a publishing hour, and we are talking about the print mm -hmm. with the magazine. And uh, let's tell us a little bit about the print in the magazine, and then how that comes into the ministry that God has given you. Okay, well, of course, like I mentioned, Promoting Purpose magazine, our slogan is Promoting What God Has Already Placed in Us, and that's your purpose. And we're a printed publication, and we feature 
men and women of God on all levels. We go to different areas or they actually contact us saying that this is the kind of ministry I have and I would like to put it on your print issue. Now this is no charge to be featured in the magazine. It's, there's no charge at all because we, we want to be a blessing to other people and you, what you have is a blessing. And so there's, that's how we do it. But just contact us and we put you in a print publication after we do some research, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta make sure you are legit. Yeah, there's so many <laughs> ministries, you know, people, not ministry, but there's so many people that pretend to be in ministry because they feel like that's how they can get a easy income and that's false, you know, in God's mm. eyes. If he didn't call you, or if he did call you, you have to wait on your time. Because, yes. And it's God, Tommy. What about, um, we were talking earlier about the gifts. Mm -hmm. And uh, your gifts in, in, in doing your magazine, how, how you promoting your magazine. And um, I was talking about I'm more like a one-person show, mm -hmm. you know, one-woman show. And, and God has given you a lot to do um, as because that's your assignment. That's your ministry. Mm -hmm. And we also have to look at it as our ministry. Right. Because uh, even though we're doing this alone, we're really not alone. Right. And you were talking earlier about, um, well, during the break, um, how more gifts are being birthed out. Right. And help somebody that may have a ministry inside of them, uh, either print mm -hmm. or... Um, Whatever ministry that God has given them, like me, the roving reporter, right. you know. <laughs> reporter for God. Yes, <laughs> reporter yes. For God. But yes, I've been in contact with so many people who are in the same situation where they're saying that they're running their ministry or their business by themselves. And they're tired, and, and I got to the point where I was tired, because I'm like, Lord, I'm, I'm doing everything. I'm putting the magazine together. I'm doing the design. I'm doing the cover. i got to, you know, try to bring in advertisers and subscribers. And so um, I was talking to a prophet um, one evening and he said, you know, God knows that you're tired because you're doing everything by yourself and you're questioning and asking him why. He said, well, you know, God wants you to know that he have to do this to you and put you in this position in order for you to get to that next level and find and reveal more gifts that you don't even know you have right now. And we're blindsided with our gifts at times because we can't see it right then. Mm -hmm. we, we, we don't even know what's there. We'll say what we can't do, but when in reality you can. <laughs> I said plenty of time, I can't do a magazine cover. I don't know how to do a magazine cover, but God downloaded it. It was already in there. I just didn't know that. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes you have to go through that step just to be able to discover what you have inside. And that's why they say never doubt yourself, never second guess yourself, and never say what you can't do. Because God has created you and God has placed lots of things in you. You just have to birth it out and go through the procedures to get it birthed. Amen. And I noticed um, I was going through uh, job loss mm -hmm. um, and me being an abstract artist, I usually paint right. to just kind of ease and just um, take the stress off. Mm -hmm. And instead of me painting, I was doing these commercials <laughs> and I had no idea what I was doing. I was just bored. Mm -hmm. And next thing I know, because all the commercials that you see on the publishing album show, God has placed it inside of me to do it. The right. stuff, the um, the creativity that mm -hmm. I have, I didn't realize it even was there. And a lot of people have been going to school right. to uh, learn how to do digital this, mm -hmm. digital that. Yes. Even though they're artists and they learn how to do it on a digital level, mm -hmm. I'm sitting at home bored playing around with the computer, <laughs> and next day I know I have put a commercial together wow. and all the digital stuff that normally that I would go to school for. Mm -hmm. So you cannot tell me that the Holy Ghost is not a teacher. He is. He really is. I, have, I never went to school to do magazines or any type of web. I do flyers for people on the side, and I create websites for people on the side. I never knew I could have done that. <laughs> that was never anything that I was able, I was able to do. <laughs> But see, those are the gifts that are inside of us right. that we don't realize because we are looking at man mm -hmm. and the way man say, but uh, the blessings, right. those are the blessings and the gifts. Right. And uh, I know somebody that's out there right now that's looking at the publishing hour show and they may have lost a job mm -hmm. or lost something or just sitting there just bored. Right. 
And I'm just going to speak into your life right now. I prophesize in the mighty name of Jesus the Christ that your gift of being birthed out as I speak. Yes. He's going to show you the greater things that are inside of you. And right now, you are getting an unction, an unction yes. to just pour out and whatever God has placed inside of you where it is a digital or where it's whatever creativity that he's poured inside of you for his glory mm -hmm. is getting ready to come now yes. right now in the mighty name of Jesus the Christ I, I come to you and uh, open up that door that has been shut. Anybody that has tried to say that you cannot do, you can do all things through Christ that strengthen you. And right now, Christ is strengthening you as I speak. Christ has opened up that door that you tried to close because he knows how much you have a love for this gift that he has placed inside of you. So right now, it's being birthed out burnt out and coming out into the opening. God is bringing you to the forefront so you can do what he has purposely put inside of you to do yes. in the mighty name of Jesus the Christ. Amen. Amen. And I wanted to add to that as well because a lot of, you know, the economy is going down and people are saying, oh, the economy, we're losing jobs. And I can tell you, you know, from speaking to God that there's a reason why the economy is going down. And if you notice that there are a lot of men and women of God that are out of jobs now, but they have their own ministry mm -hmm. and business. So that economy drive, is driving a lot of people to actually seek their purpose and seek their reasoning and actually step out on faith now for that business they always want to have, for that ministry that they know God had for them. They now have more time. They're not too busy anymore. Because when they had those jobs, they were too busy. They had to work. They had to pay bills. I got two or three jobs. I got to try to provide for my family. Well, now the economy is going down. They're saying, oh, men and women of God may be laid off, but they have faith, and God is providing for them, and they're able to have free time to worship, to praise Him, and to continue on with their purposes in life. Amen. Amen. And we just, uh, I know that this is a purpose. Mm -hmm. uh, this show, and promoting the purpose. Uh, even though God said promoting the purpose, now you're promoting the purpose ministry yes. that's inside by speaking and opening up the doors that have been closed for so many. Right. It may not be a door, physical door. It may be a mind thing. And that's the bondage. Right. And now with us, like you said, the economy, and then some of them, they may be getting jobs and they're not making as much money right. as they used to. Right. Because I was used to making a lot more money but I had a job, and then the job will last for 30 days right. or three weeks, and then it ends, and then I have to go. I'm like, okay, Lord, what's <laughs> going on here? What do you really want me to do? Right. Because it's some, they still on the job, mm -hmm. and they've been working for years. Right. But he keeps cutting. He's keep cutting. Why are you cutting? What What am I not doing that you want me to do? Right. I'm not praying for no more money. Right. I know you take care of all my needs. I want to know what I'm not doing. <laughs> and that's what he said, full-time ministry. I was like, oh, my God. Well, yeah, I left the military, which, of course, everybody knows the military, you get paid a certain amount, they pay for your house. I left that to pursue what it was that God wanted me to do. Wow. And even though, you know, I say physically, sometimes we say, well, the finance is not there, but, you know, God told me, that, like, yesterday, he said, stop worrying about, What's in the bank account? Stop worrying about when money is going to hit the bank account. He said, you say you trust me. I gave you this. What you need, you ask me for it. And I'll give it to you. Now, that's a blessing <laughs> right there. Yes. Receive it. Say that one more time in the camera. And God wants us to trust in him. He said, don't look at your bank account. Don't look at how many money you have or how much you may want to have in it. But if you trust in him, he said he will provide. He said, you just ask him, he'll give it to you according to his word and according to his will. And what you're needing. So just trust in him. He, he's going to provide. He's saying to you right now, don't worry if you only have $5. And stop saying that if I had $1,000, this is what I would do. You got God. Do what you can do now <laughs> with God. <laughs> you want that business? Speak it. Tell God you want the business. Ask him what it is that he wants you to do. He's, he's the almighty God. Amen. He moves mountains. <laughs> yes. And we have to come to that purpose and that place that we're not dealing with some statue God. Right. We didn't, We are talking to the living God. Right. And Jesus, Yeshua, is on the right hand 
of the Father and Yahweh, and I'm, I'm, I want to speak both Hebrew and English here because I want you to understand the depth of where you're going, right. uh, who you're dealing with. We are speaking to the Almighty God. He created everything. Right. And if he says something, it's done. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, and I'm, I'm ministering to myself as well as to others that are looking at the show because we tend to say one thing mm -hmm. and do another. Right. And then he keeps testing us. One right. test after <laughs> another test after another test. And then we sit back and we say, what am I doing? Mm -hmm. Well, it's in his word. He speaks to us audibly as well as spirit to spirit. Right. He speaks to us in dreams mm -hmm. and visions. It comes from all mm -hmm. different directions. Yes. He knows you because he created you. Right. <laughs> so he knows what direction he should come to right. you. And then you still sit back and say, okay, Lord, I'm broke. <laughs> no, you're not. Right, you're not. No, no, you're not. You got so much. Yes. We have so much, and we are his children. And he loves us so much. He really loves us. And he loves you. Jesus loves you. And he is interceding on the right hand of the Father. Wow, we truly went into ministry today. Yes. <laughs> I'm Praise telling God. you, I did not know how this show was going. I always ask the Holy Spirit to lead and guide us. Right. So we would know how to uh, how this show should go. Because we don't know who's going to see the publishing hour right. show. And like I said earlier, it's in India. And, and a gentleman was telling me, you know, he was 21 years old. And he has a ministry with 150 people. That's a blessing. 21 years old. Now, you said during the break mm -hmm. um, about the age. Right. About the age of uh, your giftings. Mm -hmm. Can you help somebody out there that might be 21, that might be 61, right. or what have you? You know, God doesn't look at age. God does everything on his timing. And, you know, I started the magazine when I was 25 years old. And I hear people say all the time, even to now, because I'm 27, they say, oh, my, you started at a young age. And they say, you know, I wish I started when you had started. And, and they use that as a, a crutch because they feel like if they did not start at a young age or they start too late, they don't have enough time. And so what I tell some people is everything is for a reason. Whenever you find your purpose, as long as you're consulting God and when God reveals it to you, God reveals it to you during his time. So if he revealed to you when you were 55 years old, then it was not meant for you to figure it out at 25. <laughs> and so we have to understand that, that when you discover your purpose, it's because that's the time that God allowed for it to be discovered inside of you. And so you have to be patient. You have to just trust God and continue to pray and seek Him for everything that you do. And when it comes down to dreams and, and gifts, I, God gave me a quote that I quote a lot now on Facebook and Twitter. And the quote that I use now for everything is, it's never too late to start your dreams. It's only too late when you die not trying. Wow. And so I you always it. have time. <laughs> I love yes. it. I love it. Wow. Say that one more time. <laughs> it is never too late to start your dreams. It's only too late if you die not trying. Wow. On that note, we're going to close the Publishing Hour show. That was just awesome. <laughs> I thank you for coming thank you, Deborah, back Deborah. again. And we love you here on the Publishing Hour <laughs> show. Um, um, is it any last minute things that you would like to tell our viewing audience? I just want to tell everyone to continue to stay encouraged. Stay connected to God. You have to, if, if you want to be successful. And like you were saying, that the things that you do, you didn't have a degree for it. I didn't have a degree for it. And the Holy Spirit teaches you. That's the best teacher you will ever have. And I had a family member say to me this morning, why when you call in the morning, you're always happy? <laughs> When you're doing something that you love, you will never work a day in your life. And that's what my bishop always told us. Bishop wow. Charles Wild, he always said, if you love what you're doing, you'll never work a day in your life. And that's so true. Because you enjoy what you're doing. And so I just want to tell you to be encouraged. Seek your purpose. Always seek God for everything that you do. And step out on that water. Because God has you. Hey, man. Wow. Well, uh, I thank you for... Uh, uh, viewing the Publishing Hour show today and uh, look for us every week at this time and same station and God bless.
Thank you for watching the Publishing Hour show, and I know you were blessed. I know you enjoyed our show today, but if you'd like to be a guest on the show, give me a call at 804-719-1526. That's 804-719-1526. And go online and pick up one of our inspirational books at www.joniedesign.com. That's www.joniedesign.com.